Jose. And he show up here. Oh my god. Hey, What's going on, Jose? How we doing, guys? Pretty good. Just so a little bit of despairing over here. Running to, run into to you guys to see how you've been doing, actually. <laughs> good to see you. Why are you going to stand like Did that, Bass? You look like a fucking pussy. Wait. Any, any, anyone oh ever told you that? Hold on, hold on. Um. You're not prepared. Is Your hands better? are going to be in front because you're closer to the weapon and you can defend yourself if someone jumps on you. Uh, I mean, I mean, this is a mature, mature D group. Yeah, so yeah. I see you do it everywhere, I'm, I'm, though. I'm, I guarantee you go I'm to the fucking... Traffic. Stop. I'm not going to have my hands No, I guarantee. If there's, if there's a woman on the side of the road, you're definitely standing like that, you little pussy. Absolutely That's more like not, it. okay? I'm That's more like it. That's the best I want to see. I'm ready to buck buck. All right, well, since you're here, then we can probably um, convey this meeting and... I need um, to ask, did this get posted? The fuck are we talking about? Posted? What's happening? Something about docket posting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but what, what are you posting? What, what's going on the docket? Uh, well, the Simone investigation is uh, now up. It's been up for, I think, about like a week and a half. Um, Simone's been brought into custody by Miguel O'Marion. Uh, we have a... Uh, he's requesting a bail hearing. Uh, a bail it's hearing? Tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern. And we yet to have a interrogation scheduled, so it's going to be uh, pretty juicy. Isn't this guy a fucking terrorist? Mm -hmm. Super terrorist. Also, what the uh, fuck yesterday? bail is he going to get? I don't think he's going to end up getting bail, like, hopefully. Uh, obviously, that's going to be the DOJ's. Like, it's well within his rights to request it. Uh, but we're gonna make it very clear this motherfucker's a huge flight risk. I mean, he had fucking he Russians jet. attacking us. Yeah, yesterday because he got caught. We're not. I mean, we're not. We're not sure if it's just cause and effect. But we were attacked by the Russians. F-14s, jets, missiles, everything. Los Santos was under major attack. However, we prevailed and shot them all down. Three of them died. The Russians. Can we just blow that fucking place up, please? I'm sure they're still all in there. Should, That's I don't Moscow. understand. The Russians are Moscow. fucking invading us with fucking aircraft. I don't know how the fuck they get their airships into our airspace, but I got a feeling we should just blow that shit up. We should just fucking put a bomb in it and blow the fucking thing up. Blow it sky high. Fuck that piece of shit. The fuck is the Senate doing? Bunch of pussies. Any of you guys try to reach out to the Senate about this shit? I have not. Um, I'll reach out to them. I just You're telling me there's terrorists in the city bombing us and shit, and you haven't reached out to the fucking Senate. You guys are fucking stupid. Well, I know I know one senator knew about it uh, a long time ago. He knew about the whole thing back and forth, uh, but I haven't updated the rest of them. I should probably reach out. The attack happened yesterday from the Russians. I okay. technically have uh, authority to run Guantanamo. That was the last thing the Senate told me. Guantanamo, huh? Interesting. Yeah. I mean, honestly, mm. I'd just say fucking put them on a on the, the spaceship being built up there, send ashore, strap them to the front of it, send them to the fucking moon, leave them up there. Yeah, actually, that's a you know what? This is a good point. We got Seguina's got all this legislation. We should get something uh, against the Russians. Mm. What if we do what the British did to the Australians? Take all the prisoners from the Russians from the island. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea, actually. But the thing is, uh, I think that island became a better place to live. So I'm not sure that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be 100. Like, that as an option to extradite people for their holding over there, I think you'd get a lot less. If, mo if let's say, someone went away for, like, seven years or something like that, um, extraditing the highest criminals and putting over there and making it someone else's problem is probably not the worst idea. Honestly, I feel, I mean, do, does a terrorist come out after seven years or do terrorists stay forever in jail? Uh, it just depends. I ain't trying to have the game. same fucking cycle happen in seven years, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, um, with, you. I'm with you. He's, like, realistically, Soze, he's, I'm going to be shocked if he goes away for longer than, uh, Probably, I don't know, like 10 years. Plus time served right now. That's pending. Mm hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I thought the Senate might just fucking deport him. It's like not from America, right? So. Well, we did. Uh, so that was the original plan. Um, 
So I was working with Crane to offer a extradition. So given that there's a year and a half of investigative reports, it's actually, I don't know how that court case is going to be summarized in, <laughs> in like even a reasonable amount of time. Uh, the original proposal was they look over the evidence, which all of which he's admitted to, by the way. Um, and Wait, he gets extradited in the... Yeah, that's the crazy thing. Was he under? I'm supposed to be in a trial. Oh, did the, did you, I mean, did you read his rights? What he said that is it recorded or? It's in his texts. It's actually crazy. Oh, like, I mean, I, let me give you an example. He bombed a hospital. He bombed a police department. He bombed uh, the court center, and then he took a photo of it and sent it to a police officer. And we have his DNA, and he's admitted to taking the photo. But like I don't, I don't, like I don't. He, but the thing is, I don't think he remembers he did any of this. But what the we actually, fuck? we actually documented each and everything with date and timestamp. So makes sense why he's denying everything, taking the court. He's gonna put the burden of proof on you guys to prove it, instead of um, him taking a plea deal and being done with mm -hmm. it. Which brings okay. us to uh, the talk we need to have us three. Remember that conversation we had a week ago? Well, I got Brian right here. Um, I'm not sure what exactly you um want to tell him but um i do believe the sooner that we get with this the better it will be and we can take it slow you're talking just, about um, the threesome we we're offering well huh we're uh doing doing detective work correct Wait, oh what? i'm fucking confused now why were you both surprised about that i thought you guys oh. already talked to something Oh, I thought no, you were talking about white no, pee there for a second. No, me and Brian have talked. We're just waiting for you. You're like the last trifecta. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, I'm still under the same uh, same shit I said last time. I want, uh, you know, someone, someone to come in and run some detective shit and, you know, do the in-depth shit, not just the fucking bullshit that's, uh, you know, get, get raiding somebody because they cross a road or some shit like that. I want people to mm. investigate things, find the patterns, find who they're connected to. Well, you know, actual detective work, so... You know, uh, you've done that a lot, Brian. And if you're willing to uh, continue down that path, I don't think I want you in, it, in any sort of command role. I want you to, you know, well, it would be the the leading of the, the, the detective unit or detective certification, which would be run through us in the mm. state. If, if you'd be interested in doing something like that. I'm, uh, I'm very interested. I wanted to understand your vision because... Um, that way, when I do accept it, I'm adhering to the vision. Um, I mean, with anything, right? I, I want to make sure I, like, get it before, you know, taking on the responsibility. Okay, uh, so this is, this is my vision. A fucking police investigative unit that doesn't make friends with fucking terrorists, okay? They arrest them, and they do investigations on it like you have done. So you, pretty much... Uh, I'm a big proponent of, here's my current perspective, and, uh, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Um, I believe that every investigation starts, like, small. Uh, -huh. uh traffic stops inherently are investigations. Sure. If yeah. someone blasts you from a car, you shouldn't be crying that, oh my god, it was just a traffic stop. You should be asking the question, what was in the car that caused them to blast? And that the moment that that switch doesn't go in that direction, you are inherently not doing your police work. Exactly. You know, which it's, it's, yeah, you know, that's, that's the, that's the basics of what I think needs to be investigated. You know, just cause you do find somebody with uh, three guns or extra uh, uh, weed. Do you have to fucking uh, put him in on the charges straight away? Or can you see who he goes, talks to, you know, find, find, find yes. different avenues, yeah. shit like that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Find the, the, the bigger picture rather than just the one person. I'm, of, I'm very much pump and dump more like um keep on pumping the good pump and dump here and there is mm. okay as long as it's uh you know somebody you hate just to piss them off that's okay but yeah like maybe if more it's like investigative a small fry, uh, shit. like short sure. yes okay yeah absolutely that's uh okay I'm we're, we're on a similar page my my one concern and uh you know I had an example of this kind of prop up uh, earlier today um my only concern is, uh, I, I'm going to be rather transparent here. I don't want to beat around the bush. Um, uh, uh, the, uh, the current legal system that we have in Los Santos, uh, we have officers that simply don't understand some of the basics. Um, and I mean, those have even been around for a while. 
Uh, especially during uh, the shift that I operate, which is 11 a.m. till about the time Bass wakes up. Um, sometimes, let's just say, people like to big dick and uh -huh. question things and show their ignorance towards the law. My worry is uh, if investigations get compromised by ignorance. Um, and a higher example, officer who has got no idea what's going on. Yes. Well, that's why I wanted to be a part of the state police. That's what me and you were here for. We, uh, we're the ones that will be uh, helping you run the department. So we put you mm. in as sergeant or something as a, as a trooper. And just in general, I think people will start to respect you more. And if there is an, is an issue with uh, certain command trying to outweigh you in investigative tasks, then mm. we will step in because we'll be, we'll be a part of that unit ourselves, if that makes sense. But we'll, you'll technically run it, but we'll be there as the, you know, we're your own the, chain of command, basically, we're trying to say. Yeah, we're, we're, there, we're there to, you know, put people in line if we need to. So you'll um, be working for us, not for them. Okay. Um, so just a few more questions. I generally like to aim for plea deals. If uh, the crime, if I believe it's a building block to a bigger case, or we do not have the investigative prosecutorial uh, resources, is uh, this is how we've gotten actually... I think I myself have written about 20 plea. No, actually more than that. Maybe tw between 20 and 30 plea deals within the last uh, year, including that, uh, the Hydra, you know, one where we got, I think 12 pleas out of Changang and Hydra, saving us both resources, investigative time. In other words, trial is not necessarily the objective, but rather justice based on the yeah. resources we have and, is, that, day, is that something uh, that's no that's that's fine i don't give a fuck if people are getting prosecuted do it do it whichever way you want the 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 quicker the better it's it's all fine with me whatever happens like i uh, said as long then, as the uh as long as the mentality is there to you know uh do in-depth investigations that's 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 the aim i also sometimes will let hey, people go if they think there's you're doing? a bigger uh I'm gonna give some cuddles, thing yeah. Come here, mate. That if there's a bigger oh. set of charges, I don't mind letting people go hey, as long as it's not Penis. detrimental. Yeah, we have like 60 I said, days uh, for press charges. You know, I don't, I don't like don't, flimsy charges. Exactly. You know, if you uh, like I said, if you find someone with weed and shit, you can just play it off and uh, to do whatever it takes. Uh, that that that's that's the entire idea. You will have control to do whatever you want. Doesn't matter if you release people. You know, as long as long as the end thought is more more investigative things will come from it. That's what we want to do. You know, if you need to, if you okay. need to do that, do it. I would ideally like to sm uh, start small, hey, buddy. so that the vision can be imparted on the new folks. Oh yeah, so 100%. If things don't get out of hand. You know, you end up with like 15 people. They start doing their own thing. Uh, now all of a sudden, I'm playing babysitter instead of driving a direction. So what I'd suggest is try to get uh, one. This is what I've done for most of the search so far, and I haven't really had complaints coming back from them. Is have one, one or two people in each shift that are sort of the mm -hmm. real ones you trust, and then uh, also all these people will come through me too. So every everybody that gets added to any search still has to go through me uh, mm. uh, to to be approved. But that that's how I've been approving them. So if you get one or two in each uh, zone, that's perfect. You know, get them trained up and then use them to train one or two, uh, you know, people afterwards. So the the there's less, you know, work you have to do. You can get back to investigating and do your, you know, do do what you're good at. Hell yeah! It's so like I said, I I don't want you to be worried about doing command shit like you're in, uh, you know, when you're in high command and shit like that. Like you were good at it, mm. but I feel like you know doing investigative things is what we really need to get uh, tied up on. So. Absolutely. Look, I'm here to do whatever is going to help the city. So, uh, wherever you need me, I'm uh, ready to go. Okay. Well, you want to? If this is it, I'm fucking it's good. down. It's good. Yeah. Well, go get I'll go get your get uh, go get your trooper outfit on. We'll uh, we can, we can go do that shit now. <laughs> so, am I a sergeant trooper? Am I understanding this correctly? Uh, yeah. We'll throw you, sergeant. I think the only one there right now is uh, what's his name, uh, Moulton, Lance. right? Yeah. Should you yeah. talk to Libby and Dark first, Brian? Yeah, so go get changed and then send him an email and go say, yeah, listen, I got a better opportunity. Go fuck yourself or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. Be polite, uh -huh. Ryan. I'm joking. Oh, wait, what do I got here in my pocket? One second. Oh, look at this. Dan, you look fat in that vest. 
Reminds me of old Brian. You change the hair. You should let me. Uh, hair, let me. Uh, uh, let me uh, you know what? I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm sure you can look better than that. Jesus Christ, I had a flashback from when he was fat. Yeah, me too. Uh, speaking of stores, actually, Air One is down bad right now in Shift Three. Have you taken a look at as far as Air One and uh, Canyon? Uh, I haven't actually looked at it this week, so I can do it to uh, tonight and see 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 who we uh, let through. So is it just uh, Shift Three that's struggling the most? Did you say? Yeah. Air one is down bad in shift three right now. There's only one or two pilots and okay. uh, they're not around often. So whenever there's a lot of boost or 37 alpha, uh, the meth runs happening. They don't got air yeah, one. Alpha, what's yeah, called. yeah. I mean, shift three, I think is always going to be our hardest to hit. So it might be worth just accepting just about anyone in that. Uh, I can. That, yeah. I mean, zone, if you want so. me to tell lovesick that I'm just making sure that everything goes through you as far as search because I. He, well, he be yeah, no, people, I still, I still right definitely want to look at it. But at the end of the day, if they're getting past the yellow, yellow coat shit, they're probably not that much of an issue to be in a uh, air search. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, either way, I'll look, having... I'll look at it tonight, so uh, we'll, All right, we'll yeah, get a few more signed off. Air 1 is our biggest uh, struggle. And motor, too. Well. Some of the motors needs to be accepted for Shift 3. Okay. Also, um, with the canine shit, I'm not sure if we need to have one around all the time. I think it's sort of being random is also a good thing, you know what I mean? I don't disagree. Uh, it, I just it know just there's might only... Be, uh, if you I think there's only like three right now, and they're not all in E Shift. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, we can get more. I'm just saying, like, you know, having one round all the time, I'd end up getting blowback from the criminals, you know, and we'll start getting fucking magnum. Oh, a thousand so. percent. I mean, a thousand percent. Uh, having a canine means they're going to run for sure every single time. Mm -hmm. End of the day, so we want to well, reduce that sort of shit, so. Yeah, I mean, the way I see it is a special unit that comes out if needed, or depending on the calls or what's going on in the city, right? If there's a lot of mm -hmm. drug calls, maybe we can pull up the canine as a counter to find ways to combat these calls. Yeah, I mean, if you see someone leaving a scene and, and you think that, I mean, Brian would, would be able to take use of it uh, a lot, you know what I mean? Having traffic stops when he's investigating someone leaving a warehouse or something, pull the dog up, you know, have a sniff, and they're fucked. Shit like that. Yep. Uh, either yep. way, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll look at the certs and we'll get some more signed off because I know we do need more, so. Perfect. I appreciate that, Commissioner. And then um, I'll email the Senate regarding the, the Russians and what's been going on. Yeah, also yeah, I'm made sure. Also announcement uh, regarding uh, the New Island. Uh, San Queen Island. Oh, I have this no is, idea what the uh, fuck that is. State. I ain't trying to so, fucking... The Senate and the state of San Andreas decided to recognize this new island as a sovereign state being its own country. They have their okay. own laws and uh, rules. I've told everybody, do not go with an officer unless uh, you go off duty and you not represent the PD. That okay. way, the action of one does not rep represent the action of all. And we get a whole entire war going on because one officer decided to be a dumb fuck and uh, stir the pot at the island. Yeah, that makes uh, that makes sense. It's all good. Um, I mean, the the last time the Senate was around when there was some terrorists, they went down to the uh, to the barrio. barrio and started shooting yeah. them up with the uh, tanks. Had Abram so. tanks come out. I remember that. And that yeah, was just over seen... a pistol. Jesus Christ! Imagine what they're gonna do over this shit. One second, let me answer this. Uh, this is Jose, the state police. How you doing? Well, well 